Hello there. This is an introduction to Scratch where we will be learning about block based program and also about some of the components of Scratch and the Scratch interface. Well, let's have a look. Now, block based programming is a program where you give instructions to the computer using blocks. This is what Scratch looks like. So you are able to sign in, or even if you don't, you're still able to use Scratch. On the left hand corner over here, these are ready made set of programming blocks where you are just supposed to um, drag and drop these blocks over here like so. This area is called the code area. This is where you put the blocks, the set of instructions you want it to be actually performed. So let's put these blocks back for now. Okay, now if you have a look at the side here, just scroll over here, like so. This area is called block categories. They are color coded so you can have a look which one you want to select um, and put the options over here. Now over here you can see this is a sprite. By default the cat will always appear because that's what Scratch prefers. So it can either be an animal, a person or anything else and we will be going through in a moment and having a look what options we have. Okay. Now this area at the top over here, where the sprite is, this is called the stage. This is where everything's going to be performed. And this over here is the backdrop. So it's the background you select, which is going to appear in your stage for your project. So let's select one. I am going to choose the underwater one. And uh, I'm just going to delete uh, this sprite for now okay and at any stage you're still able to change the backdrop that's absolutely fine now if you click over here this is where you choose your sprite so we've got animals people other objects is always called a sprite okay I am going to select a fish okay so I've got fish and you are able to select more than one so a crab okay here it goes we've got both of them over here over here we do have um, some things which we can edit for our sprite so for example for the crab if I did not want it to appear I could just click over here it won't show if I click over here it will appear same thing for the fish now you can change the size as well now I've got crab there so I'm just going to change it to 70 enter it's gone smaller or you can make it bigger as well so let's do 110 like so you can also change the direction if you like any direction you want um, you will be able to change that as well if you have a look over here at the top with these tabs so you've got the code where these blocks are costume so because we've already selected the crab um, whichever costume the crabs has it will appear here so for this crab it's got two costumes so if you have a look the hands are opening well for the crab it's over here opening slightly different so for example if I was smiling that would be um, one of costume if I was sad that could be my second costume so it's whatever's available in this case for the sprite that's where it will be showing we've got sounds here so you are able to select by clicking over here any one you like got quite a few options for animals effects loops so quite a few here you can go back so that's where you click this bit over here for the sound okay so these are the basics now another thing if you right click on your sprite you have a sprite thumbnail sorry that's a sprite thumbnail over here and um, you have three options so we've got duplicate so if you click on this exactly same thing will appear let's just delete that for now and delete which I've just done and export is where you save your sprite on your computer okay so let's give 
the crab and fish some instructions and create our small project okay before you start you always have to click on this flag so once the instructions are here once you click on the flag you will be able to see everything happening okay let's do something simple for the crab I am going to click on this I've just mentioned the flag and then select forever so it's going to repeat itself and also move 10 steps that's what it says but you are able to change it so I'm just going to change it to five steps okay and I want it to point towards the fish so the crowd point towards fish and I'm going to select over here the fish sprite same thing so the flag and forever Here. And then let's go into motion and we can leave 10 steps for this. Okay. And right, let's try. Also, I am going to be moving that mouse over here so the fish will follow it. Like so. So wherever my mouse goes, the fish follows. And the crab is five steps behind because that's the instructions we gave. Okay, that was fairly straightforward. I hope you liked it. And in the next lesson, we will be doing something complex, slightly complex. Um, hopefully you will enjoy that.